All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit of a different episode as to our usual content, I suppose, because in this episode, what we're doing is we're actually heading down to my brother's garage at home to work on his one tonner to get it ready for bright. It's just been re-sprayed and he needs it thrown together because I think it's two days till bright, three days till bright. I think it was like, yeah, four or five days out from bright. We'll and say two days because it sounds more intense. <laughs> <laughs> and it needed to go together or else we're gonna lose the shot. <laughs> So Daniel asked us to come around, give him a hand to throw it all together, put it all together. He's been working on this car now for the past few months. We thought we'd uh, film it and show what sort of what we worked on. It's a little bit different because there's a whole bunch of us and um, yeah. See how it went. See how it goes. All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? Uh, it is a Friday night, hot and sweaty Friday night and Daniel's car is finally painted and polished. So we're going to put it together tonight. Daniel wants to have it together and running, I think, in one night. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> there's uh, still a fair bit to go. There's still uh, there's still a bit to go. Bumpers, trays got to go on. We've got a lot of man and girl power here to try and lift the tray on because it weighs a ton. Yep. Daniel just pumped the sheet metal into it. <laughs> so we're just finishing off little nuts and bolts things. Anything off that bench is fair game. All that needs to go onto the car somehow. Should we get the tray on first? Though? Do you want the tray on first? Yeah, the biggest job, get yeah, that done. Get, get that on so I can sit in a while. Alright, so we probably haven't shown this on the channel before, I don't think. I think maybe we briefly might have mentioned it here or there, maybe. But this is uh, my brother Daniel's car, so you might know Daniel from the VY Turbo build that we suckered him into. Um, this is his and his partner's Kate's HZ1 tonner. It runs a 308 with, uh, okay. with a mild cam in it, and it's got a T400 behind it that leaks like a sieve. Um, <laughs> but over the past couple of years, Daniel has been rebuilding this car from the ground up. It was actually originally Kate's dad's car years and years ago. And then got sort of passed through family members, I think it was. And then they eventually brought it back up to restore it and bring it back to what it once was back when her dad had it. So it's just had a paint job. That's why it looks so nice and shiny. Josh here actually painted it themselves. They did this in the booth, but it's all been done and prepped here in the shed. Today is the day that it's ready to go together. So we're just basically coming around to give him a hand on a hot stinking Friday afternoon. We have to turn all the fans off now because we're filming so it's going to get hot. Like we said, we're going to start with getting that tray on first because that's probably the heaviest and most important job to have everyone here do. So let's get that on. When Daniel and Kate got this car, um, the tray was, I don't think it was a tray at all. It was just a steel square. So Daniel actually built this tray himself and it's, it's a gorgeous tray. Honestly, I feel like tray is what makes a, is what makes a, a tonner. And he's built this perfectly. Yeah, this this tray actually, like a, a, a tray on a tonner can go one or two ways. Exactly right. You can make it really pretty or really ugly. Yeah, and exactly. this one actually turned out really well. Yeah, it's so really he, this is like a full steel tray and then it has timber inlaid into the tray. It looks great. My hands are really sweaty. Wait, we need to call it. Yeah. Yeah, buddy! Why is there so many people down there? All right. All right. What's the next chrome bar? We'll do the bumper bar. Yeah, let's do the bumper bar. Right. Headlights around. Yeah, let's right. do that. Everything's yeah, right. Someone yeah. tells you when you need bigger bolts. <laughs> <laughs> we go put the grill in first, though, don't we? Uh, no, no. You can put the grill in there, I think. All right. So we'll do the headlights around in the front bar. <laughs> yeah. I already put the irons in. I did the irons earlier with Josh. Oh, sweet. So it's just literally just put the bar on. <laughs> I just always say, that's how I'm trying to do it. It's vindicated! Um, 
How am I gonna get to these? Mm -hmm. You know what? I have a feeling. Mate, I'm looking for the plug. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I think we have to take these out to get your hands in to get the bolts from. Oh, yeah. Maybe. You can't get your hand up in through. Oh, no, because there's a thing there. No, they've got to come out. Fitman. Today's word of the day. Yeah. <laughs> fitting stuff. I agree. In. Not going anywhere? Nah, got three in. <laughs> Alright, that looks pretty good. Looks like a complete car again. Yeah, it actually looks alright there. Gonna do molds. Uh, the windscreen molds. Go on. Are yeah. we doing that or nah? I don't want to do that. I want to do the handles and the doors. I thought you already done it. I've done one side. Yeah, okay. Let's do the other side then. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll slap the door cards on. Alright, let's start. We'll just do the easy stuff here. Yeah. These guys are still trying to figure out the earth rotation over here. Isn't it flat so it would rotate? <laughs> is it up like that or is it like that uh, is your one in no i haven't done it yet is the rod in there the rod should be in there oh the rod is in there okay that's right i can figure it out you gotta put this rod in as well too is that for this yeah. yeah i was gonna say Thank you. one rod that's out <laughs> imagine you couldn't i know yeah you gotta use the handle as an opener <laughs> Very nice. Shall we put a door trimmer? Yeah, let's put a door trimmer on. Sweet. So these are our door trims. They have been recode. They're pretty lovely actually. They're a bit dusty at the minute, but they look really good. Probably gonna do more damage. There we go. Oh, you know when all these little pins fall out of place? Yep. Yeah, Daniel told me these are really tight and really hard to get on, so. And I was like, I'm really nervous that I'm going to find out what he's talking about. But, so far, that's not too bad. Mm. Alright, door handle, armrest, bada beam, bada boom. The worst bit about that is, you don't know where it is. Yeah, it never gets perfectly good enough for me. That looks right. It's not my engine. <laughs> well, these are new too, my one. That one's the crap. <laughs> I feel like it's always a guessing game trying to get this in. Yeah. If it pulls in, it pulls in. Yeah. Could be drilling into the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I think she fits pretty good. So, what do we want? I reckon follow the angle of the stitch. Like yeah. That. When it's in full up position. Beautiful. We're getting close. Yeah. Yeah, it just go wide right around. Don't slip. Grab one screw. Yes. Yeah, same. <laughs> Happy? I'm absolutely wrapped. It looks insane. I'm so excited to drive this thing again. It's Done well. Good work. It's gonna be. Oh, everyone did good work. So, thanks, team. I just can't wait to go on the road for the first drive, and Daniel's gonna call me and be like, "So this leaks. Got to fix this." <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, right? We know this car runs, but I don't know why. It's, it's such a moment to start it, so we're gonna start it. It's all together, so it needs to be started again for yeah. sure. And Good then all starts. the oil leaks will just start pouring yeah, out again. We actually want to put something on the ground. Let's do it. Kick it in the guts. Wait. Here's your key, sir. You've officially been pimped.
Round of applause. <laughs> well, it is finally back together and we finally got to turn the key in here again even though it's been running this entire time. But it doesn't matter. It needed to be a full car to turn the key and see how it goes. That was good fun. That was taking a car that was stripped for paint pretty much and putting all the goodies back together. Daniel did a really good job of labeling everything so everything went together pretty well like, in all honesty. I want to know how many bags still have screws in it though. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to know. How much weight saving have we achieved? Anyway, um, that's it for this one. This is a little bit of a different episode with everyone getting involved and just having a, a night out in the shed and it was good fun. You wrapped Daniel? Everyone, oh, so everyone's happy? Stoked. It's so good. I guess from here now it needs to be polished and gone over again, Josh. Yes. Uh, to finish it all up properly and a few little tweaks here and there, fix the oil leaks and stuff like that. And then it'll be back on the road for the first time in since Feb, whatever. So yeah, it's been an awesome, it, they've done a really good job putting this thing back together. It looks incredible now. It looks really good. So anyway, we're going to wrap this one here. We'll catch you when we're back in the normal workshop. See you then. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the evening that we spent at my brother's place putting together a one tonner. And yeah, we did it. We got it all finished up. It was ready to go. And it actually made it to Bright. On a car trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but it did get there, and he spent the whole weekend cruising around in it. Yeah, it did really well. The car looked good, fresh paint, so he's getting married actually in two weeks. Yeah, he is, yeah. So that's the whole reason why the car had to be finished. And it looks it looks really good. Yeah. The car, the car runs well. It turned out really well. He was stoked and it. it was awesome to see it riding around. Mm. And on top of that, that brings us to Bright, Rod Run 2022. We were there, uh, we had a ball, we took the Sandman, we took the XE, uh, that one tunnel went with as well too. And yeah, it was an awesome weekend. We didn't actually film the weekend because we talked about it, Nathan and I, but ah, should we film it, you know, do a whole thing on it. And we just thought, you know what, with the deadlines we've been having lately, getting the failing ready for drag challenge, that didn't happen, getting the H, that's not H, getting the Sandman ready for Rod, <laughs> uh, for rod Run and all that. We were pretty much pooped and we needed a weekend off. And we yeah. thought, you know what, let's just enjoy the weekend and put the cameras away and just do that. And that's exactly what we did. Overall, awesome weekend. It was amazing to see the event back up and running after two years hiatus. Best bright I've been to. It was huge. Yeah. There were so many more cars than there normally would be. Massive variety of cars as well too. Mm -hmm. Way more than I've ever seen them in the previous years. And the town is pumping. The town was going off. It was it was good. Sitting on the hay bales in the middle of the street and just watching the cars go by is a totally different vibe. Yeah, it was really, really good. We've said it once and we've said it a million times before. If you've never been to Bright Ride Run, do yourself a favour and get yourself there. You don't necessarily even have to be into cars all that much to enjoy it. There's so much going on in just so many aspects. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a really good weekend and it's a credit to to Bright for putting it on mm -hmm. and for holding it because yeah, it was really good fun. For those interested, the Sandman went really well, being it was a sort of its first <laughs> big trip. A um, few little teething issues as to be expected because we literally finished it, took it to the dyno, ran it, drove it to Bright. I drove it to Bright all the yes. way there. Yeah. Had a few timing issues, that's okay. I took a timing gun with me and fixed it up while we're up there, but it's going really well. It's got a good note, plenty of punch. It's, it's really good fun so far. The XE? Yeah, the XE went good. That car just seems to, seems to work. Yeah. It sat for two years at my parents' place and just drove it straight up there. Yeah. Got a little warm, clipped the AC on. Yeah. <laughs> AC, isn't it a nice luxury? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but we did walk out with two dinted rims from all of the um, potholes on the way up and back. Yeah, and I lost a wheel nut somewhere along the line on the way to Bright. So yeah, so, there you go. So looks like I've got to get two new wheels. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who came up and said hello, introduced themselves to us. Anyone who was wearing merch, it was awesome to see some merch out there and uh, have a chat to everyone at home. It was, it was a really good weekend. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. It was a little bit different to normal, I know, because it was sort of just a bunch of montages of getting the car ready, but it was a good weekend to get that done. And we're glad we got to make it to go to Bright. And a congratulations to this man, proposing, getting the yes from yeah. Gemma. I'll soon be a married man. Yes. So no more hack shots. <laughs> <laughs> that is the big news of the week around us too. Nathan did propose while he was in Bright and he did get a yes. Right yes. in front of the XC. Yes. I'm the winner of Bathurst! Yes. <laughs> right in front of the XC, which was fair lane, but <laughs> the XC will do. <laughs> yeah, the XC will do. So yeah, that's coming up. A few weddings now, because yeah, now we've got to get the HQ yeah. ready for Daniel's wedding in two so, weeks. Actually, that's...
V8 XC for the wedding? Yeah. Surely that has to happen. With that tight wedding deadline. Yeah. <laughs> what we need is we need pressure. That's what we need. That's what we need. Like this, you'll understand this when we release an episode in the, in the near future. <laughs> this, the HQ needs to get ready for the, my brother's wedding, which yeah, is now in two weeks. Two weeks. And there's a lot of work to be done because we're revising a lot of it. Yeah. Which will be explained when we talk about what we did last week, but we haven't yet released when this went to the dino and the salmon went to the dino. Yes. Anyway. We'll see you whenever we get to that. <laughs> see you then. Use as well too. What do you got to say? I just seen the Aldi bags as the <laughs> as no. the as the moisture thingies. Yeah. Nice. You know how I said for the other day how Daniel has been like bagging stuff to make sure that he doesn't lose anything. Look at some of the um, some of the writing on the bags. Passenger mirror screws are stripped. May need bigger screws. <laughs> Instructions. <laughs> but this one's the best. Stuff left on the bench. <laughs> yeah. We have that one spot that sits on the on the toolbox where it's just random. Where bolts. it's just random bolts. But look, there's a half cut thread. Oh, that's funny. Is yeah, it yeah. half cut or is it? It's oh, half it is cut half thread. cut. Yeah, half cut bolt. You said you like my labeling. Stuff I did like your labeling, but I don't know why you kept half a bolt. That's funny. <laughs> the detailed instructions. <laughs> they're sorting and then they're keeping half the bolt. Oh my god, that's funny. So good. Which oh. way that? Or yeah, that way. those chrome trims look pretty good, don't they? Yeah, absolutely they do. They were missing. <laughs> <We're> missing. <laughs> Is this sorted yet or what? Oh wait, there's a piece of paper out. It's getting real technical. He's gone to the. <laughs> Just, uh... I'm supervising. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time, all they've been doing is drawing pictures in the back. <laughs> <laughs> On his giant artboard. <laughs> I was laughing at the um, the horn cap house says bleed red air. If it bleeds, it runs. <laughs>